between you and me. My hair is thinning a bit. Oh, your highness, I'm sure it's not that noticeable. <laughs> If you're suffering from hair loss and ever wondered why you were cursed with bad genes, you can take solace in the fact that even some of the best athletes in the world have to deal with male pattern baldness as well. We about to talk about going bald. In fact, it's even more stressful for them given that their hair loss is broadcast throughout television screens across the world. With that said, here are 10 sports stars, past and present, who dealt with hair loss and whether they did something about it, from wearing hair pieces, getting a hair transplant, or just deciding to shave it all off. Let's get started. LeBron James. LeBron James. Perhaps the most notable case of a balding athlete is LeBron James, the most popular basketball player in the world and a contender for the greatest player of all time. James has had hair issues for a while, though it wasn't clear initially as he always donned a headband in his early NBA days. However, observers started to notice his hairline gradually receding before uneven bald patches appeared as well. As y'all start losing a little up top, y'all start growing these beards out. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? James would eventually shave his head completely bald, before later returning with a full head of hair. So how did LeBron grow his hair back? The general consensus is that it was either a hair transplant or hair fibers, or a combination of both. That said, the Los Angeles Lakers star is still dealing with hair loss today. In 2019, his hair was literally coming off during a game, while he currently has a huge bald patch in the crown area of his head, which he no longer seems to care about. It looks like it'll only be a matter of time until the four-time NBA champion fully embraces the bald look. Why? Wayne Rooney. Another high-profile case of a superstar dealing with hair loss was Manchester United legend and former football player Wayne Rooney. With his hair receding as early as his teenage years, the English forward underwent two hair transplants. At the age of 25, he got his first one for his front hairline and was very open about it as well. The results were impressive, and Rooney certainly looked closer to his age again before he went for another transplant in 2013 to top up his balding crown. However, hair transplants don't prevent non-transplanted hair from falling, and Rooney has started losing his hair again. Yeah. Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson mysteries. The baddest man on the planet, Mike Tyson unfortunately wasn't able to evade hair loss. During his prime when he was knocking out opponents in less than a minute, Tyson notably had a bald spot towards the front of his hairline. Many speculated that it was either a bad haircut, trichotillomania, or alopecia. But according to reports, Tyson's own doctors claimed it was hair loss due to stress at the time. All speculation eventually ended when Tyson just decided to shave everything off in 1991, supposedly as a tribute to George Foreman. He would grow his hair back on occasion, but overall, has maintained the bald look ever since. When he does let his hair grow, one can see that hairline has receded, even though he still has good coverage elsewhere. We'd recommend a hair system, but at this point, Tyson's bald look is iconic in its own right. It begins to look better. Kevin Durant. Like LeBron James, Kevin Durant has also had to deal with hair loss over the years, in particular his giant bald spot on his crown. Unlike James, however, the Brooklyn Nets star hasn't done too much about it, as many fans have repeatedly called for him to shave it off and embrace the bald look. Shave it off! For now, it doesn't look like KD plans on doing anything about it as his hair continues to thin out. Only a matter of time until he becomes the latest bald sports star? Bald! Andre Agassi. One of the greatest tennis players of all time, Andre Agassi had to deal with hair loss in his late teens as he started balding before the age of 20. Very conscious of the fact, like most young men would be, Agassi grew his hair into a mullet with the help of hair pieces. However, the evening before the 1990 French Open final, he noticed his hairpiece suddenly disintegrate in my hands. The weave is coming undone, the thing is falling apart. His brother went on a search across Paris for bobby pins and they eventually tied the hairpiece together. But there was still a chance of the hairpiece coming off, something that was on the American's mind throughout as he went on to lose his chance at a Grand Slam in an upset defeat to Andre Gomez. Agassi, who won eight Grand Slams over the course of his 20-year career, would eventually go fully bald in 1995, which was a huge weight off his shoulders. Maru Usman. He's basically bald. UFC welterweight champion and probably the pound for pound best fighter in the world today, Kamaru Usman was initially known for two things, his dominant wrestling and his receding hairline. The latter was more so because of how bitter rival Colby Covington repeatedly brought attention to it as Usman's hairline had receded to the middle of his head and he refused to go fully bald for years. That thing took a run all the way to the back of his hair, man. I feel bad for his hairline, man. That thing is ugly. Earlier this year, he finally chopped everything off and looks much better as a result. He even jokingly made a reference to his hairline in an interview. I'm taking it all off since people want to talk about the hairline. Guess what? You're going bald, which I got to say now. Zinedine Zidane. Real Madrid and France legend Zinedine Zidane had a full, thick head of hair when he started playing football. However, he eventually started balding in the crown area in his 20s. 
Not that it mattered too much, as Zidane was arguably the best player in the world at the time, having helped France to a World Cup and a year of victory in 1998 and 2000 respectively. The balding hair even became his signature look before Zidane shaved it all off and has since maintained that look as he transitioned to a successful managerial career. Manu Ginobili like many of his peers, Manu Ginobili came into the NBA as a youngster with a full head of hair. However, as the years went by, the San Antonio Spurs legend would go on to suffer from a receding hairline, while he also had to deal with balding on his crown that only got bigger and bigger as he entered his 30s. Towards the end of his career, the Argentine would go for a buzz cut look, which still suited him. He even poked fun at himself for his lack of hair. Floyd Mayweather. Uh, yes. Even someone making the money that Floyd Mayweather was wasn't able to prevent his hair from falling out. Mayweather eventually went completely bald and maintained that look for years, as he certainly rocked a look. That was until the former five-weight boxing champion decided to get a hair and beard transplant in 2020. And for the most part, his hair transplant surgeon did a pretty good job. It's so painful. Antonio Conte. We are not so lucky. We are not so lucky. Antonio Conte perhaps had the biggest hair transformation, as he had thinning hair as a player before going completely bald. However, he would later attain a full head of hair, with his hair loss stages becoming even more prominent during his successful managerial career. So what did Conte do to get his hair back? The former Italy, Chelsea, and Juventus manager is said to have had as many as three hair transplants, the first of which was as a player. However, it is more than possible that he is wearing a hair system given how dense his hair is today at the age of 52. 53? If Conte is wearing hair systems, he's not the only one. Many men dealing with hair loss wear hair systems today, and given the advances in technology, these hair pieces are much more natural looking and durable than the ones used in the past. If you're dealing with hair loss, don't worry, we're here to help. Visit www.superhairpieces.com and get started on your hair system journey to get your hair, confidence, smile, and life back. What are you writing? Writing, oh, nothing. Drawing, drawing conclusions.